many people um, in society kind of feel like introverts are broken extroverts. They're not able to socialize. Um, and they're not normal, that extroversion is normal, and so introverts are not normal. And through, and I've felt that way many, many times. And now, through really reflecting and learning about it, I realize there's no normal. So there, there's extroverts and introverts. All, the society split almost down the middle as far as uh, the number of introverts and extroverts. And certainly it's a sliding scale, so people have different experiences. But um, part of the reason why I've really taken this up is personally to learn, but also to engage with other people that may be going through some of the same struggles I went through um, and hopefully helping them in some way to find a path to feel more comfortable about themselves and ideally at a much earlier age than I have because um, I think it, um, it can be uh, a destructive force if you really don't understand it. And, um, and what I've learned is, is that um, there are many strengths that I have that are largely come from the fact that I'm an introvert. And so I'm able to um, I, I migrate towards planning and preparing and, and uh, connecting on a deeper way and having a smaller group of friends, but people that I, I um, am able to connect with, I feel like there's more creativity and thought around some of the things that I'm doing. Everybody's different, but um, certainly I hope that introverts take away from some of the uh, things that we're sharing on the blog um, and, uh, and in the book that, that there's many positives that we should be embracing and trying to, um, trying to live a happy life and, um, and not uh, feel like uh, there's anything wrong with us by any means. Very good. So your website is called beyondintroversion.com. So what is the purpose of your website and what is it that you hope to accomplish with that? So Beyond Introversion, um, I'm real excited about the website. We started in July and spent quite a bit of time trying to think about the name for it. And so for me, Beyond Introversion just really, it hits home and it means a lot just in the name. So it's when I think of beyond introversion, I think about two things. One is there is this classic definition of introversion that tends to be the broken extrovert and somebody that's, that can't socialize and those sort of negative connotations. And so I think it's important for introverts and extroverts as well to really have go beyond these traditional definitions and truly understand what does it mean to be an introvert and what strengths do they bring to the table and how can they complement the whole culture of a work organization or a family or anything like that. And so it's really going beyond the traditional definition. But the second aspect is to try and grow, go beyond introversion. So often, especially when we really haven't come to grips with who we are, whether it's introversion or other things, it overwhelms our life. And so we end up being defined purely by that. And so as, as an introvert, I've really tried to grow and embrace my introversion, but also I want to go beyond that. I don't want to be defined purely as that. There are many things that I can do by leveraging the strengths that I have as a person, as an introvert and as a whole person, to be able to um, reach my dreams and uh, kind of live unabashedly. And so um, I think that going beyond introversion in all its definitions is what we're trying to do through the website. And it's engaging with other people that, again, may be going through the same sort of struggles and trying to find a home where they can share their experiences and learn healthy coping experiences as well.